All right, everyone, back again, following weekend. It's late in the day on Saturday, but we're done with baseball for today, and I'm getting ready to uh, hopefully complete the uh, tower tree. So just cutting the grass, getting it all cut, probably for the last time of the season. So let's see what we're doing. All right, hopefully you can hear us, but we got uh, the center stake, and what I'm going to do is going to measure. I've got a rope here. I've already tied a loop in it, so I'm going to go underneath the ground level, loop it over the stake. This will be my center point to reference where I'm going to put the stakes uh, to hold the wires or the ropes. I'm going to come out here to our property line, and I'm going to measure here, put a knot in this, and then just basically go around and make our circles and place our stakes where we need around seven feet from the center. small in that thing. We had to go to the store and buy a new lawnmower. So needless to say, it is much later, 5.30 later, and we've got one stake in the ground over there, and we were getting our second one in right now. We're putting eight stakes in so i'm going to go across there and across i'm going to go halfway over here and then back over here and then split the difference have eight stakes using this rope as a guide point. we're losing light very quickly but we got our eight stakes in place around and i climbed up to the top of the tower and measured from the top to one of these stakes and it was um, actually it was 451 inches from the top, from the very top, all the way down to the stake. And so what we're doing is we're doing, um, so the goal is 451 inches from the very top to the stake. Each ring will have, uh, or each channel will have three rings. And we're sp uh, spacing out, we're spacing out the, uh, the rings 18 inches apart. So that basically means we're going to be down at the very end to somewhere around 420 inches from the very top. And since the ground is uneven at the bottom, the, the last ring is actually going to be about two feet off the ground or so, if my, my math is correct. So it's getting dark here. I'm not sure how far I'm going to go, but the next big step would be to get all eight ropes. We did buy new ropes this year. to to go from the very top all the way down to all eight stakes um, and get those pulled tight. Uh, that will help the security of the tower as well and then give us eventually the, the thing to put the lights to. But uh, with it being dark and I'm not sure if I want to get up there and do this in the dark, so we'll see. Good Sunday morning. I didn't really get much of anything completed. I'll actually show you what we did uh, last night, but uh, today is the day. Today is going to be a good day. I've got to do something in the middle of the day, which is gonna, it's gonna suck because it's gonna take me away from this. But my goal is to get the tree up. If I'm done with that by the end of the day, I'll be happy. But I'm hoping to start working on the roof as well. So you can see we got the wreath installed. And I'm personally not too thrilled about that because it's too big for this area, but Stephanie likes it here. So that's where it's gonna go put some lights up around the planter and look at this sign that Stephanie made isn't that awesome apparently what she did is just went uh, to Home Depot and got a piece of uh, fence plank plank panels 
One of these, actually, I'll show you. I think she has another one over here. A fence piece. Okay. And they're pretty cheap. And then she cut arrows out of them. And then painted them. And then she's got some, uh, this textured fake snow looking stuff and put them on in different places to make it look like snow's, you know, accumulated on the sign, which is really cool. I don't know, probably only took her a few hours to do this and it cost maybe a couple bucks and it looks awesome. So she's got some projects going on. She looks like she's working on something else here. We'll see what that's going to turn out to be. But anyway, first step today is going to be to tie off the eight ropes that are going to go from the top all the way down to each eight stakes that are down at the bottom. Before I put up any lights, I'm going to have to make a tree topper and put that up because I can't get that up through the lights and on the tower if I do that last. So I'm going to have to do that first. So let's get to it. It is 8 o'clock already, Sunday morning. It's already about probably 78 degrees out here. It's going to be a hot day. It's the thing that sucks about living in Florida. Everybody's out helping. We got Liam with his nose goat. Nose ghost. Stephanie making a sign. Joby, what are you doing? Mommy wants me to do this for the art wall. For the art wall? Cool. Yeah. And I'm working on the start. And what I've done so far is we had some stakes that were already cut. So basically I'm screwing them together, five pieces together like this. This is gonna be a five-sided star, five-pointed star. And we're just gonna lay them out. And it pretty much makes a pretty nice size star. Well, it's screwed up, but I'm going to go ahead and put it out and screw the pieces in to each other. And I'm going to wrap it with some lights and hoist it up. Pretty simple. It's actually nice because the, the stakes were already notched, so I just screwed them together. And what I did, so I drilled a pilot hole and screwed one screw in. All right. And once they're all together, I might have to put some extra screws or supports in just to hold it, but... That should do. That should hold well. Morning. Morning. What happened to your nose ghost? Huh? What happened to your nose ghost? I threw it away. Hmm. Stopped bleeding. There it is. What we do is to take these. Hopefully it'll be enough. Just gonna wrap it. Make it all nice and tight. There's three strands of LEDs there. That's all we have. So hopefully that'll work. If not, we'll have to use some old lights. It's not perfect. Looks like it's leaning a little bit, but it's gonna be 50 feet in the air, so hopefully it'll look good. All right, after finagling, we got the tree wrapped, I mean the star wrapped, and it came out to be perfect. No access, uh, extra at all. So I'm gonna draw an extension cord from here. This piece here will go into the top of the tower. And Liam's now in the process of cutting off all the extra tie wraps. So it looks a little better. This might take a while. <gasps> it won't come off. Come on, use your muscles. Maybe, Maybe I'll have to do it, huh? All right, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and install our ropes. I got camouflage roping this year, so it's hidden a little bit more. And go climb to the top of the tower, put it in the center hole, tie them all off, and then we use one of the ropes to pull up the star. So, let's do all right. It. Well, we're at the top. I got all my ropes tied to this bar here, and they're coming up through the top, and then they're going to be going down to the, the stakes that are down. Now we're going to lift up the star. Steph's going to tie the, the star to this last rope 
and we're gonna pull it up. Put it in place. This is the view from up here. There's our house. Okay, well, it didn't fit in the pole. The stake didn't, so just had to tie it down and do some finagling. Uh, but it's up, can't get far enough away, and it's in place. So next, you're gonna go down and tie the ropes, and then we'll come back up with some Christmas lights. And here it is from the ground level so far. That's pretty good. A little big, in my opinion, but. Another completed project. What? That's Stephanie. Another what? Completed project. Oh. And I got my ropes tight. My appointment time is coming up, so I'm not going to start the lights until I get back. Did you see the these ropes, the smaller ropes, are the ropes that are going to tie the lights to. The big yellow cords are my guide ropes and those are just there for support. But I pulled them nice and tight. So there's gonna be some give when we put the wires on, but not only will it try to hold its shape because they got it going all the way to the ground, it's actually gonna keep the tower secured. Because all these stakes are driven into the ground two feet at least. So when I get back, that's what we'll be doing. All right, back home and working on the stringing lights. So first set of lights going up and in place. I'm doing it a little different than I've ever done this, uh, before, but hopefully in theory, I actually had a dream about this last night and in theory it worked. In my dream it worked. Started uh, at the top, the wind's kicking, making me a little nervous, the tower swaying. But I'm, I'm wrapping around like a spiral, but I'm, I'm, doing, um, I'm doing vertical rings, so this top, section is going to be the the first channel of the tree and I'm coming down doing every 13 inches roughly and then when I get down to the end I'm going to go ahead and bring the rest of the into the tower and down um, and then I'm going to start channel two we'll start right here and continue around four times when 13 inches is down as I go but it's spiraling down so uh, hopefully this will cut down on supplies the amount of tie wraps I'll need and the amount of time it takes because usually what I did is I went around all the way a level ring and then drop down you know, like I'd go all the way around and then drop down however many inches and then go all the way around and then drop down and you kind of do it that way I'm doing it a little different this year and hopefully it'll it'll cut down the amount of lights I need and the amount of tie wraps I'll use so let's do it I've got one one channel done and obviously the, the star is its own channel well what's up I made a uh, I made a stupid mistake. I measured out how the distance between the rings, and it was supposed to be four rings per channel. And when I was putting it up, I did three rings per channel. So I wound up really short. So what I wound up doing is the star was supposed to be a separate channel. I took that, and that's going to be a solid, just steady on. It's not going to be a channel um, that made nine channels from top to bottom. I was still. I was still up to about this level, about five feet off the ground, so I added another channel. So I have ten channels for the tree itself. I'm just going to pull a channel off the house that I was going to use for something else. Um, so I got about halfway done before I realized my, what I was doing, so I wasn't going to undo it all. So just kind of finagle it as I went, but it, it's done. I'm going to light it up when it gets dark see what it looks like. What does it say, Jovi? Santa, stop here. You think Santa's gonna stop this year? Yeah. Sorry. No, Mom, Mom. In the bedroom somewhere. Bathroom, bedroom, I don't know. My ear itchy. Well, we got some lights out as you can see. But, fired up. We gotta hide some lights. Some sections are out. But it's up. Wait, is it already locked? For the most part. 